Hello, welcome fellow traders. AMP Futures here presenting another how to video. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and talk about layouts using the TradingView platform. Now, layouts are a very straightforward concept. Essentially, what this is going to allow you to do is save different chart configurations as layouts so you can easily toggle from one layout to another. The first thing that I want to point out is when you have a layout created for the first time within TradingView, typically that layout is not going to have a name. And on the top right corner, you'll notice where it says unnamed here. So, this is for Users that are logging into TradingView for the very first time, you're going to see a layout that's already created for you to help you get started, but that layout is not going to have a name. It'll say unnamed on the top right corner. So probably the first thing you're going to want to do is name a layout. We're going to hit the little drop down here and select rename. We'll call it AMP, for example, and hit save. Now we're going to start making changes to this layout because we want to save these changes. So let's just keep it simple. We're going to add a few indicators onto this micro S&P 500 chart. Let's do MACD. Uh, let's just do Keltner channels. And let's go ahead and add a drawing tool as well. Let's do a simple Fibonacci retracement. Of course, you're going to make the changes based on your own preferences on how you want your charts to look. All right. And then let's actually change the, the layout as well. Let's just go to a, um, a multi chart layout. Let's just do two charts stacked on top of each other. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and change this symbol on the bottom to the micro NASDAQ. And I'm gonna actually remove some of these indicators as well. So we're gonna just go ahead and remove the calendar channels. We'll keep volume and let's remove the MACD. But I do wanna change the chart type for the micro NASDAQ. Uh, let's just go with volume candles. All right, you know better yet, let's just do TPO profile charts. All right, so again, this is just a basic example. Now that you have your chart looking exactly the way you want, now you can hit the save button here. Now keep in mind, whenever you make a change onto your layout, that save button will appear. However, by default, the auto save function is going to be automatically active whenever you start using layouts. Now you can disable it if you want, but I would probably recommend just keeping it on because what happens is if you forget to hit that save button and you have it disabled, those changes are not going to be saved if you exit the platform. So auto save will protect you from losing those changes and it'll automatically refresh and save those changes periodically. Again, that auto save is enabled by default. Now, a couple of things that I want to cover as well that we see within this context menu, which are pretty cool features, in my opinion. You have sharing. So if you hover over the mouse cursor here, you can see everyone with this link can view and copy. So sometimes what happens is you're, you're working with other traders or colleagues, and they see your setup. and like, wow, that's a really nice setup. And they may not know exactly what you have done to create that setup. So you can basically save them a lot of time, and you've done all the legwork for them. And all you have to do is activate sharing, copy the link, and just send it to them. And they can actually import that particular layout into their trading view so they don't have to go through all the changes that you've made already. So that's a really cool feature. Making a copy as well, what that does is let's say, for example, you want to make a copy of your existing layout. And it's going to look exactly the same as how it looks now. But maybe you want to, be, you want to change the symbols on those particular layouts so you don't have to go through the process of adding the indicators, making the changes to the indicator settings, making the changes to your chart settings. I've seen traders, you know, in my experience in, in, in being in this business for a very long time, traders get very in depth as far as some of the changes that they make to the charts. So it'd be, you know, it'd be very inconvenient, it'd be very inefficient if you had to go through those changes every single time you had to make a chart. Now, one thing that I, I want to do, I want to apologize in advance. Some of these features I won't be able to demonstrate because what happens is right now I'm using a recording tool that's built into the browser of TradingView. So if I refresh the browser, it's going to stop the recording. But I will explain exactly what's going to happen. It's pretty straightforward as far as what to expect when, as I'm explaining it. So again, if you make a copy, what it's going to do is basically open up a tab. It's going to say, what do you want to call this copy? Call it whatever you want. And it's going to open up that copy in another tab in your browser. And, and you're basically going to have a layout that looks exactly what you're seeing on the screen at this very moment. At that point, you can now change the symbols on those charts if you want. In this example of a double chart layout. And that gives you the ability to toggle between the different layouts. Now, when you do create a new layout, you have the option to create one here. And if you click it, normally open a new tab is checked. Now, the reason why I want to point out something that's very important, that if you open up a new layout in a new tab, you have to understand that the connection that's used with AMP Futures when creating layouts is the CQG connection. And you can only have one connection per tab. So what I mean by connection is if you notice here, I'm currently connected to my live AMP Futures trading account. I'm connected. Now, if you were to open a, another tab in, or another layout in a different tab, what it's going to do is it's going to try to connect to that connection on the second tab, and you can't have two connections at the same time. So it's going to log out the connection from the first tab 
once you log into the connection on the second tab. Just keep that in mind. So maybe what you might want to do when you go to create a new layout, just make sure that you uncheck open a new tab. And when you create the new layout, new layout, it's just going to replace the layout that you see on the screen on a single tab to the new layout. And that way you can stay connected to one connection and you don't have to worry about logging out of one connection and logging into the other. All right. Now, another thing I want to point out as well is if you want to remove layouts or once you create new layouts, you'll see them listed here under the recently used section. So again, I do apologize. I can't demonstrate it because if I have a different layout that I toggle to, it's going to refresh the browser and it's going to stop the recording. But again, it's very straightforward. Once you create a new layout, basically you just call it whatever you want. For example, you can call it AMP2 in my example. And then once you create it, you'll see it in the context menu right underneath AMP. You'll see both layouts and you can just simply click either layout to toggle from one layout to another. And then to remove layouts, you want to click the load layout button here and you'll see a little X and just simply click that X to delete that actual layout. And this is how you create layouts using the TradingView software.